Les Imoca 60 sont les bateaux. I like the Imoca 60 boats. They're boats that are built to be sailed long distance and going somewhere far away as a voyage, an adventure, and discovery. I grew up in Brittany, between Chateauneuf du Four, Quimper, and the Fouzon Forest on the Curvelin Beach in Port La Forêt. I started sailing very early in dinghies, but didn't compete much. Later, I sailed with my father on an Armagnac boat. You could live on it, and I loved competing. I enjoyed racing, and I liked the technical side of sailing. So I started selling local races and then the Figaro, and after that, the rest just followed. The Figaro, three solitaire wins. There was also the Formula 40, three world championship titles, I think. Then there were some multi hulls with Philippe Poupon on Fleury Michon and Credit Agricole with Philippe Jonteau. I went around the world with Eric Tabli for my military service. There was the hydrofoil, hydropter, and the 60 foot Orma multi hulls. And then there was the 60 foot Imoka mono hulls in 2003, 2004, when I sailed my first Vendée Globe. The Imoka 60s are built to sail around the world, so they're safe boats. If I had done something different with my life, I would have been a musician. Maybe a singer, I don't know. But a musician at least. My best memory at sea is when I had capsized with VM material. When I came out through the survival hatch, I saw that Vincent was there. It was a good moment. The worst memory was a few hours earlier. When you capsize close to Cape Horn, it's not a good memory and not a good place to be, that's for sure. What I like about sailing around the world, or more generally offshore sailing, is when you understand the boat, when you know it well and are trying to make it go as fast as possible, when you try to do something meaningful between you and your boat. The worst thing, it's an anxiety rather than a fear. It's of losing your teammate when you sail double-handed. Oh, and the last Vendée Globe, when I dived under the boat. We were caught in a net. I had to dive down under, and I can't tell you how frightened I was because you always have some anxiety about going down there. But the important things are always down there, and it's always when you're racing, and damn, it's, well, it's, it's good for you. I'm really happy to be in a mess, I can tell you. It's always the same. It's difficult. But after you've done it, you are super happy. Winning without taking risks is triumph without glory. You cannot have strong feelings if there's nothing at stake. A little danger. Something happening. <laughs>